Hi everybody, Roshni here. In this video, I want to expand on the topic of bioavailability in plant and herbal supplements, this time focusing on functional mushrooms like reishi, cordyceps, lion's mane, and chaga. In fungi like these, there is a substance called chitin that creates the cell wall. And chitin is also found in things like this crab right here, or in the shells of shrimp, other sea crustaceans, and even in insects. Chitin makes fungi strong. It gives them the durability to push through plant matter, rocks, and leaves as they grow and come to the Earth's surface. And chitin is great. It's a great source of fiber, but the problem is that it isn't easy for human bodies to process or digest. Our bodies typically lack the chitinase enzyme to digest chitin. So much of the mushrooms that we eat as food end up as insoluble fiber, which is great food for our gut, but the compounds we want end up locked inside this chitin cell wall and they never actually get absorbed into our bodies, our bloodstreams. Chitin therefore reduces the bioavailability of a lot of the beneficial compounds that we are trying to extract from mushrooms, including mushroom supplements. And this is where the concept of mushroom extraction comes into play. By using common extraction techniques, we can break down this chitin and give our bodies easier access to all the great polysaccharides and triterpenes and other beneficial compounds in the mushrooms. Some bioactive compounds in functional mushrooms are water soluble, while others are alcohol soluble. And for mushrooms, the primary water soluble compounds are polysaccharides, including those beta d glucans that, uh, that we all love. So cooking mushrooms with hot water will extract out any water soluble compounds, including the polysaccharides and some of the insolubles from our mushrooms. These will now be contained in that extraction liquid. And if we drink it as a tea or we use it to turn you know, create some other sort of product or supplement, we can actually incorporate that into our own bodies. Some of those um, compounds that are not water soluble might get thrown away at the end of the cooking period. But if we want to extract them to get all the non water soluble compounds, we need to extract the raw materials with something other than water. And the most commonly used substance is alcohol. The alcohol will extract the non-water soluble compounds into our decoction liquid. And usually using alcohol to extract from a mushroom is called making a tincture. If a combination of both water and alcohol are used, we have what's called a dual extraction. Depending on the type of mushroom being consumed, water extraction might be absolutely good enough, totally sufficient to draw out the bulk of the bioactive constituents. While in a few notable cases like reishi or chaga, a dual extraction method is required in order to get at the best of all the beneficial compounds in those particular mushrooms. As a rule of thumb, reishi is best as a dual extraction to draw out its triterpenes like ganoderic acids. Many of those triterpenes are non-water soluble. Chaga also benefits from a dual extraction in order to draw out its triterpenes and sterols, which are also non-water soluble. Other popular functional mushrooms like shiitake, cordyceps, turkey tail, and lion's mane are just fine as a water extracted product. And that's really a quick primer on bioavailability and functional mushrooms. I hope that you enjoyed watching this little video. And if you found this video helpful, feel free to check out my other resources and also my free consumer guide for functional mushroom and herbal supplements and want a little bit more awareness on what to look for. See you next time here on Expeditionary Mindset. Cheers.